Hi family, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing what is the most requested video on my YouTube and social medias and that is a room tour of my queendom. So let's get into this video and hope you guys enjoy it. This is the door that you would walk in to enter into the queendom. And as you can see over here is the laundry room. That's just a mirror that I put there because my daughter loves mirrors and she was always touching my mirror. So I gave her that to play with. And directly across from it is one of the pack systems and there is a, another mirror. Okay, so I'm coming inside of the room and as you pan around, we're going to come in and start with the pack system first. So at the very top there, we have a storage bin that is sort of a catch-all. It has some of my bigger hats, like my beach hats, swimsuits, chunky sweaters. I know it doesn't make sense, but it kind of is a catch-all for things that I don't reach for that often. And in this first case down here are my sleeveless tank tops or sleeveless shirts for work it's almost pretty much color coordinated pretty much and then as you come down here are my sunglasses and my watches the next drawer I have bras bralettes corsets shorts in leggings and the next drawer is um, panties t-shirts and pajamas so let's take a more in-depth look at this drawer as we pull it out it's kind of hard to see in the very back there but these are the majority of my sunglasses I do have a couple of pair in a car but this is pretty much all of them and here are my some of my watches. And so in this drawer we have some of my bras, corsets, bralettes. Those are um, some of the little pads that come out of the bralettes and Lord knows I do not need them. I have some shorts that are rolled up there and over on this side are some leggings and in the very back those are some of the thicker winter leggings in the back there. Okay and so in this drawer are my panties, thongs, boy shorts, etc. And in this drawer down here, we just have the majority of my t-shirts, just my workout shirts or everyday shirts when I'm lounging, chilling around the house, or just running to Walmart or something like that. That's what's in this drawer. And so this drawer down here is mainly my pajamas. I have pajama pants, shorts, sleep shirts, some of the extra bras that I have, the ones that are not so cute, <laughs> and some of my robes and pajama tops, and yeah, that's the pajama drawer, guys. And so in this cabinet at the very top, there is a sign that says Inspire, and right below that, these are my work shirts, somewhat color coordinated, but not such a great job, but hey, this is everyday life, guys. And down below that are my slacks. So what you'll see in the white bags, 
or in the bags are actually my white pants and I keep them that way to keep dust from settling on them and the rest of those are work pants and down at this very end here are all palazzo pants and the drawer underneath here are just some of the wider belts that I use around some of the dresses or the bigger shirts that I wear and I do have quite a bit of these still in the bedroom that I need to bring in and fill up those back spaces back there this next drawer down here houses the majority of my workout pants so over to this side up until about right here are all workout pants and in this very corner um, you have a sports bra that's rolled up and the rest of those are tank tops and then that little space right there more sports bras okay and so in this cabinet I basically just have accessories the very top one is a clutch bag I thought that was really pretty so I didn't want to hide that in a cabinet somewhere and it not be able to be seen so I just kind of put it out there as a decorative piece in the room the yellow bag is an Aldo bag there's another positive sign that says live your faith and right below that I have some of my pearl jewelry on a neck form and some bracelets that mask there is a mask that I wore to a masquerade ball and it's actually really heavy but it is a gorgeous piece so I just kind of left it out here on display Right below that, another neck form with a pearl necklace on it. And that little purse in the back, a little clutch, it is so cute. So I propped her up on a little pedestal back there so that she could have her shine. <laughs> and more bracelets. And so in this next space, I have my larger Aldo bag that wouldn't really fit comfortably inside of my um, purse case so I just set it out here and directly behind it is another all black Aldo bag there is a wig head I got rid of all of the other ones because they were plain but I thought she was so cute so I just kind of left her here in the room at least for a little bit my taste is ever evolving <laughs> and the little leopard shoe and purse was just a part of a Christmas uh, package that my mom had given me. So I set it out there because I think it kind of complements the room pretty good. And down here on the very bottom shelf, I have two Louis Vuitton bags. There's one directly behind it. And in this bottom drawer, it basically houses all of my baseball caps and sun visors. And so in this next pack shelf, the very top, there is a sign that says BU. And I think that's very important for us to remember with the pressures going on with media and everything, that it's important to just be who you are because you're special and you're unique. And so why be like anyone else? Just be you. And as you come down, I know. It looks confusing but <laughs> from about here to that black right there those are just like I think there's like a kimono stuck in there the rest of them are basically the little um, cardigans that you will wear over sleeveless shirts or dresses and then once you get to the white shirt on back it starts with the color coordination all over again because those are just everyday shirts that, you know, I'll just kick around in. So they're not exactly t-shirts like you saw in that drawer, but they're more of the, eh, 
I'm going to be semi-cute today, <laughs> shirts, and it's a lot of crop tops that you'll see stuck in front. So, in the very front, starting all of the crop tops and then short sleeves, long sleeves, then we go to the next section of color, it will be crop tops, short sleeve, long sleeve, etc. Directly underneath those shirts are my jeans and capris. So, starting... So starting from this end, those are all jeans up until about there. Then it goes into capris, and then when you get down to the whites, it starts again with jeans and then the white capris. So all jeans or capris, and a very there's some um, Bermuda shorts tucked in there also. This drawer down here basically houses some um, scarves and belts. So here are the majority of my belts. Again, I do have some in the bedroom that I need to bring down. And these are just some of the scarves that I decided to leave out. I do have more tucked away in the um, bins at the very top of the pack system. And in this very bottom drawer, I have tank tops, and this is basically my sock drawer. My mom is the queen of socks. She finds socks everywhere, and you're going to get socks for every occasion. Birthday, Christmas, whatever she can think of to give you socks, you're going to get socks. And directly behind those tank tops are my um, Spanx. Okay, so at the very top of this cabinet, there is another storage bin with all of my winter accessories, scarves, gloves, hats, earmuffs, you name it, it's in there. At the very top, if you can see those bags up there on top of the cabinets, those are the bags that you can vacuum down and that's where I have all of my leather coats, pea coats, heavier trench coats, and stuff like that. Right up underneath the storage bin are all of my dresses. So, this cabinet is very packed. There are some of the sportier little coats that you will wear over dresses that tie around the waist. For instance, let's go up close here. This little black one here is from Fashion Nova, as well as this burgundy color here. We have a few capes that are in there, some long sweaters, party dresses are stuck in there, church dresses, professional dresses, gowns, everything is in this freaking cabinet here and it is so packed it's kind of hard to get in and out of so I have to do some more purging I actually purged a huge bag of stuff twice and I still have a lot of stuff but in the very back of this we do have some of my jumpsuits as well so yeah everything that's long basically <laughs> is housed in this case the next case over, at the very top, there is a cute little box up there, and a very good friend of mine who passed away last year gave that to me. So inside is a beautifully scented candle, and I just kind of wanted to remember her, and when I look at that box, it does remind me of her. So that's why I have that up there on display. Below that, I have my blazers, and... The basket underneath the blazers are just some bedroom shoes or the socks with the soles on them. Of course, I have my Febreze spray to keep the clothes smelling fresh so that they don't go stale smelling in the room. And down here are all of my skirts. They're tucked in there. And believe it or not, hiding in the very back are all of my long boots, like my gladiator boots, my knee-high boots they're all hiding behind there so it's a good little hiding spot and especially because 
they're out of season right now. That little silver case is just like a little travel train case or makeup case that I use when I'm going out of town. And yes, there is a bowl of my favorite mints there. Mentos. Guys, I absolutely love those things. It's become an obsession. This is my Bath and Body Works cabinet and it houses all of my aromatherapy Bath and Body Works products. Okay guys, so let's move on to the vanity area. Over here you'll see I have on both sides of my vanity the nine drawer Alex drawers from Ikea and the knobs that are on the drawers I did order from Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description box below in case you guys are interested. But sitting on the very top of the Alex drawer is this gorgeous lamp that I found at Ross. And there is a matching mirror lamp right over there. They're three-way light lamps, so I love them. I can go from soft glow to a brighter glow. Directly in front of it is a lipstick organizer with some of my Anastasia lipsticks that are not buried in my purse somewhere. <laughs> this little candle and this cute little vase that I made a little quick flower arrangement out of. I just kind of wanted a pop of color in here for the summer. I'm going to go through the drawers really quickly. I'm not going to do an in-depth video on the makeup that I have. So if you guys would like to see a makeup collection, just leave a comment down in the box below and I'll be happy to do that for you. But in here are just some of my Milani eyeshadows, the ones that I really think are pretty, and just some hand creams that I got as part of a gift set. Down here are my ColourPop eyeshadows and I have tons of these little wax cubes that you can melt in the warmer there. This is my favorite scent of all time. It's called Soft Cashmere Amber. You can purchase these from Walmart, but oh my god, y'all, whenever I find them, and they're getting so hard to find, I think a lot of people are getting turned on to this scent. They are so light and pretty but the throw the throw on them are amazing but it doesn't overpower you and give you a headache or make you nauseous you know what I'm saying so that's why I have so many of those the next drawer down I have some of my Urban Decay um, eyeshadows some NYX eyeshadows some pigments just eyeshadows and pigments guys this drawer here just has a lot of odds and ends lipsticks and in the very back there are some eyeshadows and down here I have my um, LA Girl Pro concealers and these are just some extra concealers that I found. Whenever I can find my color Fawn, which is hard for me to find here in Tallahassee, I try to buy them all so yeah. Just an empty drawer at first. and. Then I started housing my um, Fitbit charger and just an extra camera and charger there. This drawer here just has some of my Mary Kay skin uh, care products. I used to sell Mary Kay, but I still really do love their skin products, so I have quite a bit of Mary Kay. <laughs> and these are just extra brushes. These are just some of the beads, glass beads, that you'll see in my apothecary jars. Down here is a mess. I just have some of the tall, odd lipsticks that really won't fit anywhere comfortably. You know what I'm saying? And just some of the um, mascaras that just don't look good out on top of the vanity area. And then just some extra stuff that I need to reach for in case I run out of. Um, it's back there in the back. Down here... I have a drawer with just my um, Bath and Body Works lotions, sprays, wall plugs, and I see that a stranger snuck in here as well. And in this very bottom drawer, I have my Bath and Body Works creams. 
So, let's move on around to the vanity area. All right, so let's start with what's on top of my vanity first. So this first organizer, I have some MAC lipsticks. There's a mascara in the back, just some mixing medium. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not, but I was going through all of the drawers and then I realized that this video is getting way too long. So if you guys would like to see my makeup or what's in my drawers, leave a comment below and we'll get that for you. And of course, you see I have my Google Mini. I love her. Just some lotion there. This is my mirror. My husband actually made this mirror for me. It gets really bright. Hold on, let's see. Let's turn you on. So, yeah, that's my little Hollywood mirror there. And directly in front of it, let's turn it off so I'm not blinding you guys. smooth this <clears throat> okay so directly in front you will see that I have my makeup brushes those are some of the wet n wild lipsticks I love I love those lipsticks there but inside of the apothecary jars I do store my makeup brushes because when they're not in use dust is forever flying around the room and I just don't want dust all inside of my trapped inside of my brushes and therefore getting on my face when I do my makeup I do have this mirror here that helps me do detailed work with my eyebrows and stuff like that because I am blind as a bat without my glasses <laughs> on the top of this organizer closest to the mirror are some eyeliner pencils inside of the little mini apothecary jar are more eyeliner pencils and then you have some lip pencils as you can see I do keep my beauty blenders in an apothecary jar as well Okay, so on this side, I already showed you guys the lamp, the butter glosses. It's just another one of those uh, vases like the one on the other side. Candle this is my chair that goes to my vanity. And it doubles as my office chair because you can pull it out and spin it around. And that is my vanity and makeup chair and I got her from Wayfair I think she's just cute so this is my desk area and I purchased this desk from off of Amazon because I wanted something that wasn't gonna look bulky or take up too much space in the room because the room is quite crowded it serves a lot of different purposes but I was able to find this and I love the fact that it has the glass sides on both sides so it kind of just looks like there's a top suspended in midair. I house my computer, my microphone, my planner, just a notebook. All of my remotes are inside of this little marble-like holder here that's really supposed to be a letter holder but I'm using it for my planners my notebook and on the side there there are my pens and all of the remotes to work the lights in my room come down I have a printer sitting on this little bitty table thing that I purchased from home goods there's a plastic basket with some of my like packing tape because I do own my own business so 
I do a lot of shipping of products and so those are my thank you cards that I put in along with my business cards and just some odds and ends that I need for my business and in case you guys didn't know that's where I've been that's why I've been missing from YouTube because I have been launching my business and trying to get it up off of the ground and the name of it is natural caramel beauty where we sell all natural hair beard face body products you name it we probably have it there soaps go take a look go on my website and see what you like and order yourself something www.naturalcaramelbeauty with an i not a y dot org and of course I'll leave a link right up here in the i description and also below but yeah that's my desk area so let's continue around the room here is just another mirror I love mirrors I love it because they refract light and it just kind of makes the space look uh, bigger than it is I found this shelf here at Marshall's the other day and I absolutely love it I don't think it looks good in that place but I still love the shelf so I'm still trying to do some configuring I may move it up to where that mirror is at and I don't know what I'll put down below ignore those white spots underneath the mirror I had to do some patching of holes because my husband actually put my mirror too low and I have to order some more paint this over here is the bane of my existence I hate that box there but we can't get rid of it and I can't cover it up so my husband says so therefore we're just going to ignore that and pretend like it's not there over here is my lac shelf that I got from um, Ikea you and see the there's a cute little vase or vase however you want to say it on that side and there's another one on that side so this is my TV area alright let's get into what's on top of this case here so up here I have in the very back back there are some bracelets and I purchased all of these everything that you see in here that has jewelry on it <laughs> I purchased from Ross this these are more bracelets the second row are chokers the last row on this front one are some um, bangles bracelets and watches these the gold vases in the back are from Ross funny story found one thought it was cute was hoping I'd find another one here in Tallahassee wasn't able to so my plan was to return the one but we happened to go to Orlando for the weekend and I found the second one so I purchased it and then last week while out shopping and I know I don't need to be God knows I don't need to shop anymore I found these two silver ones up front and my plan was to replace the gold ones with the silver ones but I thought oh my god they're both so pretty and so I couldn't decide so I put both of them there so you guys let me know if that's too much if it looks too busy junky whatever just let me know and so in front are these white hands I found those on clearance at Burlington I love them because they remind me of just Jesus with everything in his hands it just reminds me that he has everything girl stop worrying live by faith and to live my faith as the sign said so yeah and I brought those little um decorative balls just to go in there because I thought it would be pretty and again it just lets me know that as much as in there is he still has it because they haven't fallen yet you see what I'm saying you see where I'm going with that <laughs> this organizer here again came from um, 
Ross. And guys, don't think that this whole organizer is one thing. No, these are separate. So this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. I just stack them to look like tall, um, multiple, or to look like one big organizer. And it's the same for those on this side of the room. I think those are three different ones over here and three different ones over here on this side as well. So I didn't find them that tall. They're just stacked. This is just a jewelry organizer and I'm not going to go through everything in it because I'm not trying to make it forever in a day. Now mind you guys, I did line these myself. I found the felt lining at um, Hobby Lobby and it had the stick, sticky back so I just cut it to size and stuck it down on the inside of that just for aesthetics. <laughs> so this tall shelf here or uh, holder here I purchased as well. Like I said I got everything in here that's got jewelry on it came from Ross. And those are all necklaces. This next one here has some necklaces that are wound up on it. But the majority of the things on here here and down here are all hoop earrings that I stuck on there. Because I just didn't want them laying around in drawers and getting tangled up with other stuff. So I figured, why not? And that's just a necklace down there on that end. So down here, in this case... These are all of my other purses. So down in this one, I have clutches. And so I'll move this here. You see this little thing here? This is for pot lids. And I just decided to put all of my smaller, let's pull that out, clutches in there so that they'll stand up and not slide everywhere and I think it does a beautiful job of holding those up and this little girl here she just keeps jumping out every chance she gets and down below in the very back there behind all those back there and up top here those are all of my old coach bags that um, I had when I was able to finally afford coach and so I haven't had the um, I haven't had the heart to get rid of those yet and I don't carry them anymore but yeah they're still there hold on it's not closing I don't like that And on this side are more clutches up top. This white, black, and blue bag is one of my tall Aldo bags. That's why I was saying the other Aldo bag just wouldn't have space. I wouldn't have the space to house it in here. And again, the bigger clutches are also inside of the little pot holder pot top holders racks and down here on the bottom are just some more of my bigger brown bags up top here we just have some clutches and this is where I house my um, lighters for my candles that I burn in here because if I put them up front my husband and my son will lose them and swear they don't know where they are. So, I keep them hidden down here. I have more clutch bags in here. And it's a shame I have stuff still with tags on it that I've never even carried. Ah! I did not know I had more of these. So, these are the fragrance satchets. Um that you put in your drawer. I just actually went and brought some more of those just the other day because I didn't know these were hiding down there. But those are some of my other bigger clutches that wouldn't fit inside of the cabinet. And I also have some wallets back here as well. So, yeah. Put that back so, in there. 
this is what the other side of the queendom looks like. This is my lounging area. Whenever I want to come in and read my books, study the Bible, just relax after a long day, I come and lay out on this chase, lower the lights, light some candles, and just chillax. <laughs> this little basket here houses some of my throws, and it's so comfortable to be able to just reach down and grab a throw, fold it back up, throw it back in there. It's a little side table there with some extra pillows underneath because I'm extra. I just like to switch the pillows out every now and then just for a different look, although they are all the same color, really. Okay, this little area back here, right behind the Chase Lounge, is a actually a dirty clothes hamper. So it was originally brown with a burgundy top. I repainted it, recovered the cushion so that it would flow with this room. And I basically wanted that seating down here as a part of the seating for the shoe wall. So when I get ready to put my shoes on, I basically just move that out. I can sit on it, put my shoes on, push it back, and it serves a twofold purpose to hold or house my dirty clothes and also as a seat for putting on shoes. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the other lac shelf that I purchased from Ikea. And very quickly, at the very top, there's a neck foam. Second shelf neck foam, second shelf my initials and lights, neck foam, a camera with a picture of my parents at my wedding, another neck foam, and another neck foam. Imagine that. <laughs> and over here. It's my clock, my other chandelier. I'm not sure if you guys saw that because I didn't point them out, but there's a chandelier in that corner and one over there. I'm not sure if you guys catch it. I like twos, things by twos, things by twos, things by twos. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the mirror I was telling you guys about that my daughter was always touching and kissing and marking up. So I gave her the other one over by the door. That's my little lady. She's all decked out for the summer in her summer attire. Isn't she cute? <laughs> and this is the shoe shelf that my lovely husband made for me. The very top, it says fashionista. And I just love it. Um, I kind of think this is like one of my favorite areas of the whole room. Yeah. So on the bottom shelf, well, on the bottom row here, are just some camo heels or camo stiletto boot heels here. And the rest of those are all tennis shoes all the way back. And inside of that white case right there, those are all of my sandals, uh, thong sandals, regular sandals, sandals. Anything without a heel is basically in that box there. So starting from the top, we have a fashionista sign. We have just some of our... Um, Multicolor shoes with patterns in them on that second row. Third row, starting from the wall coming down, we have the blues, the silvers, going into the white and cream, and then coming back down. 
and some more cream or nude color shoes. And then on the very end, it's a turquoise pair of color shoes. The next shelf down are all of my brown heels. The next shelf down, red, oranges, colors, greens. Those are some of my favorite shoes hidden back there in the back there. And the next shelf down, we have really some, these are like, this is like the black row, but you see there's a pair of rose gold shoes hidden in there and a pair of burgundy ones back there. But these are pretty much the black heels. And you have these funky little red ones. I love those shoes. They're so comfortable too. And more black, some burgundy, purple, blue. But these are mostly just all the pointy toe shoes here on this line. Pointy toe shoes. And that last shelf before you get to the floor are basically wedges or the chunkier heels down on that row. So yeah, I love that. I love that shoe wall. I just think it's so pretty. And this last shelf, oh, guys, we're coming to the end. Thank you, Jesus. Very top shelf is a cute clutch bag. Those pink heels are actually some stripper heels. Those are the heels that I used to wear when I was taking um, pole classes at Art of the Catwalk. Yes, your girl did take pole classes. The second shelf has a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. Aww. Coming down. Here's another one of these um, neck foams. Now, this is the only one that I think, I'm lying, this one and this one I actually purchased from um, Marshalls. I did not get these two this from Ross. This organizer here, this is for earrings. It's an accordion style earring holder. Isn't that cool? And so, yeah, it just basically houses the majority of my earrings and you can hook earrings on front and the back side like I have on here so it holds quite a few of your earrings and it's easier to keep them all in one space like that the next shelf down just a silver face um, some more necklaces and bracelets those are some of our uh, pictures. Well, that's a picture from our um, engagement photo shoot. And again, faith is a big thing that I have to keep reminding myself to have faith and to just trust God in all things. So I have it posted. I have positive affirmations posted all throughout this room, like the inspire, be you, live your faith, faith, yeah. Because this world is so negative that I have to constantly keep speaking life to myself. Or it's easy to get sucked into the vortex of... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> anyway, down here, my beautiful husband had these heels made, custom made for me. They are too big, but... And he asked for my size, but they sent the wrong size. But I think they're so pretty, so I keep them on display. Along with this... Florida State Dooney and Burke purse that I vow to carry this year. There is a softball that is um, autographed by the women's foot, I mean softball team for Florida State. And that's a championship ball from last year. So go Knowles. In this bo very bottom shelf, I have two of my Gucci bags. There's one here, and then there's one back there. And then just some Gucci sandals and come back around guys and we have made it back to the front and so this is what it looks like in the evening time when i dim out all the lights the shoe wall 
works by remote as well so I can dim those down isn't that cool turn those back up bright this little button here that's on top of my desk is actually a remote control for the closet and you can turn the lights down and up by just twisting this little knob that is so cool I love it and then the lights inside of the cabinets here change colors you can go from red to blue to green but I like them at white and it's the same thing over in the purse side I can go from blue to red to green I can have multiple colors if I want but again we like the white lights and the lights right up there they do the same thing of course it wants to give me a hard time and there's a light there so pretty much I'm still just going around the room showing you guys the lights but I just want to take this time to say thank you so very much for watching this video I'm glad to be back on YouTube and please let me know in the description box what you'd like to see next in my room or period on my channel I look forward to growing this channel with you guys have a great day and let's get chatting tell me what you like most about the room and tell me again about this area right here. Is that too much? Yay or nay? Have a great evening. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.